So now we're going to find the indifference curves and the marginal rate of substitution for this utility function, which is a perfect substitute. And instead of telling you a specific utility you need to hit, we're telling you uh, the combination, the bundle of goods that we want to find you indifferent to. So if you have one unit of food and one unit of shelter, what's your utility going to be? Well, we can just plug these values in, one and one, and we get that utility is two. So any other bundle of goods that gives you two utility, you're going to be indifferent to. If you have two and two, well, if we plug two and two in here, we get utility is equal to four. Four is greater than two, so people would prefer to have two of each to one of each. That's consistent with this non-satiation principle that more is better. Okay? Okay. So now that we have these, we need to find the indifference curves. We need to find all combinations of food and shelter that give you two utility. We plug in two there, and we just need to find all f and s that satisfy this equation. They add up to two. What are we going to solve for? Let's have f be on the vertical axis and s be on the horizontal one. So we just need to solve for s. Uh, we subtract f. We need to solve for f. So we subtract s from both sides, and that's our equation for our first indifference curve. If we have zero shelter. We need two food to obtain two utility. And if we have two shelter and zero food, we also have two utility. And if we have one of each, we also get two utility. So we're indifferent between those all those options. For the next one, we plug in four, solve for f, and we get this. Looks something like this. And if you have two of each, again, you're on the same indifference curve, you're indifferent. They all, uh, having four food and zero shelter, two of each, or four shelter and zero food, they all give you utility of four. And this one down here gives you utility of two. So we've drawn all our indifference curves. To find the marginal rate of substitution, we've got two approaches. We can take the partial derivative of f and s using one of these indifference curves. So if we did that, the derivative here is pretty obviously negative one. Or we could use this other approach, that it's the ratio of the marginal utility of shelter divided by the marginal utility of food. And we'd go back up to our original equation up here. The marginal utility of food is one, because that's the derivative of this function with respect to f. The marginal utility of shelter is also one. One over one with a negative one in front of it is negative one gives us the same thing.